Hey guys, um, I am here today to do the 20 things you don't know about me tag. Um, I was tagged by my friend Riley Hart, XO, I believe, uh, or it could be OA. Pretty sure it's XO. Um, but her name is Riley, and uh, she's one of my pretty good friends, so I'm just going to jump in. Um, the first thing is I'm married to my high school sweetheart. He is my first boyfriend, uh, my first love. I'm not originally from Texas, um, and my accent says that too. I don't really have like a southern accent, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I say y'all, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm originally from Oregon, so originally from the west coast, like actually on the coast. So uh, The third thing you might know about me is I have three cats and one dog. Um, y'all have seen Bubbles before. I'm usually yelling at her in my videos. Um, he's Well, she's usually chasing this guy. All of you would get up. This is Dick, Dick Clark, and this is my ragdoll kitty. And he's obnoxious, and he likes to get on all my things, and Bubbles thinks that she's a cat, so she's a Rottweiler, so uh, she thinks she's a cat, but obviously she's huge. She's 90 pounds, and she's nine months. Oh, you might see her. No, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I can't see what I'm filming. Um, that's another thing you might not know about me. Uh, I didn't list it in my questions, but I have tons of piercings. If you didn't see already, um, I have my... Oh, it's about to fall out. Oh, no, it's not. My septum uh, actually changes out from my the one I normally wear, the bigger one. But I like this one better. It's more, like, feminine, I guess. But uh, I had a photo shoot yesterday, so, um, or my little one. And then I have my nose pierced. I had it on this side, but I took it out. Um, I have my Monroe pierced, my lip, my tongue. I've got my ears gauged and... This one, well, the only one that's gauged in my ear. Uh, this one is gauged to, why do I keep saying that? My ear is gauged to um, 5 eighths of an inch right now. Um, and then I've got two more on my lobe that go up. And then I also have my tragus right there, that little like bump. I have the same one each side. This one has a ring because I lost the other one. And then the same ear. Same ear, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> the same uh, gauge on this side. Um, I have tons of tattoos, um, I want to guess probably, let me see, probably close to 35 hours total, uh, probably more than that, I don't know, I'd have to really think about it, but I have a ton of tattoo work, um, plan on getting more, I spent way too much money on it, but anyway, that's another thing you might not know about me, well, I mean my face, obviously, but my tattoos you can't see. So, okay, I have... Three cats and a dog. Back to my original tag question. Um, I have three cats. I've got two boys and uh, one boy, two girls. Uh, the two girls are sisters from the same litter, and the boy, he was a rescue. They're all rescues um, that we've saved. Um, the two girls, their names are Dibs and Stillo, and then I have Dick Clark, but we just call him Dick or Dicky or Dickless or Dick Dick or whatever we feel like calling him. He answers to anything. And he's a pretty cool cat. He, uh, he th I think he thinks he's a dog because he plays fetch. He knows sit. He knows stay. He knows say please. When I give him a treat, I say say please and he goes meow. He's cute. Um, and he's pretty cool. He's he's kind of like a dog and that's, that's kind of what ragdolls are. Um, they're like the puppy. They call them the puppy kitties. But whatever. Uh, and then Bubble, she's a Rottweiler. She's um, next thing you might know about not know about me. I currently work as an office manager for a uh, business to business software sales company. Kind of, I guess. Um, we sell software to businesses to help them uh, make more money, basically. And uh, yeah, I kind of run the show. Uh, <laughs> like I guess my official is office manager. I'm also the IT manager, so I manage all of the technicians and also do a lot of the tech work um, on the software and on our customers computers. The fifth thing you might not know, I'm training to become a phlebotomist which is um, drawing blood. I actually only have one more class and I'm done. I do a lot of, uh, I, I donate a lot of blood. Um, I've also donated peripheral blood stem cells which is kind of like um, bone marrow. Um, it's the same type, you get the same type of cell that you would if you donated bone marrow from your hip surgically. However, they could do it through your blood now. So um, I've done that. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, be the match.org is for more information. I suggest everybody go check it out. You you know they say that you could save up to three lives if you donate blood. Well, you could save that you know like donating um, stem cells or bone marrow is. Most of the time, they're a last resort, a patient's last resort if they've got any type of cancer, leukemia, um, things like that. 
bone marrow is bone marrow stem cells are typically their last resort um, if they're really sick. And I've actually I, I've saved um, this man's life. I don't know who he is. Um, I'm not allowed to know. He's in Germany. That's all I know. But anyway, um, go check it out. Uh, Y'all go save life. It's not bad at all. But um, if you have any questions about it, I'd be I love to tell you guys about it. Um, it really wasn't that bad. It was just like donating blood, um, except it was taken out of one arm and put back into the other. It, it did a lot of good. So you guys go check that out. That, that's another thing you might not know about me. I'm also a donor. I want to become an embalming technician. Um, in that there's a school here in Houston, but I unfortunately. Uh, with my situation, I can't take the day classes because of my job currently, and um, I'm not in a position to get a night, um, something working nights, because I only have day classes, so it's kind of discouraging, but I hope to one day um, take the course. I really want to be a mortician, and I want to be an embalming tech. They make a lot of money, and I'm really interested in... Um, Oh, that's my next one. I'm really interested in death and the human body. Um, I'm really interested in how the body, it, it's kind of creepy, but I've always really been like interested in death and um, dying, I guess. Uh, the human body, what happens, you know, decomposing um, funerals, things like that. I, I've always, always been really, really interested. I don't know if that comes from my love of horror movies or if I'm just a weirdo like that, but um, yeah, I've also been, I've really been interested in it, um, forever, like, I knew when I was five I wanted to become a mortician, I already knew, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> but, yeah. I started doing nails because I was watching on YouTube, I watched a few ladies, um, do tutorials, I know, uh, designer nail videos, I think, or, um, Bold and Trendy Nails, uh, I actually ordered from her, um, ordered, like, a kind of kit, I guess, um, to get started and I've been doing them, let me see, almost four years um, on myself, so I really, I don't know, I, I learned on YouTube, I'm not professional, I've never gone to school for it. Um, I, I like to bake, um, I like to bake cookies, I like to bake cakes, I used to really like decorating cakes, like with fondant and all that fancy stuff, but it's just kind of a hassle now, um, I've been doing the whole YouTube thing, doing my nails. Um, things like that, so I've really kind of slowed down on the baking, but um, I really like to. Pinterest, I am like obsessed with Pinterest. Y'all already know I have obsessive compulsive disorder, so my brain, like my OCD is a lot of it is bad thoughts. See, I'm getting off topic. This is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of my OCD is organization. I'll just stop. I'm a couponer, where I left off. I'm a couponer, uh, y'all really can't see, but yeah, anyway, couponing. Um, I used to coupon a lot, not so much anymore, I've been busy. Um, after I graduated, I kind of like had some free time, but then kind of been doing more of these videos than other things. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> burps. Um, that was so rude. Uh, but yeah, I am, I'm like pretty rude. Uh, I have road rage really bad and I just kind of don't care what people think about me. Um, yeah, I just kind of over the whole feelings thing and like caring about what others think. Like, I, you know, if you don't accept me, don't accept me, whatever. I don't got time, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I burp and fart like everybody else. Um, and I'm proud of it, so whatever. Um, it's really weird. Uh, the next thing you might not know about me, I love horror movies. Y'all, I think, already know that, but I wrote it down anyway. Um, I love zombie movies. I love anything weird and strange, like Quentin Tarantino movies. Um, zombies are my my thing. Like I love zombie movies. Uh, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and um, Army of Darkness. One of my favorite sets of movies, I guess. Uh, Return of the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, and there's one more. Uh, I love them. I love anything zombie, anything with gore. So. Um, really weird like that. That was number 13. Uh, I love zombies. And yeah, I even threw my best friend a zombie themed baby shower. So we all did zombie special effects makeup. Well, I did all everybody's. Um, and the whole, it was like decorated. Number 14. Um, I'm not really a party animal. Um, I don't, I, I would rather, like on Saturday nights or on the weekends, I would rather stay home and watch a movie or play video games in my pajamas. That's, that's me. Um, I, I've been sticking to myself lately. Um, but I've kind of just been on my own. Um, 
which I'm happy, which is cool, so whatever. Um, but I'd rather stay home. You know, if it's between a party um, or staying home and watching movies, it's always going to be watching movies rather than going out to party. Unless it's with my husband. Um, yeah, I'd rather watch movies than party. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. Um, I've been sober for eight, almost nine months. Um, completely, I've quit smoking cigarettes, so no more cigarettes and nothing else. No drugs or alcohol or nothing, so I'm pretty proud of myself. This is the longest I've ever been sober. I uh, used to party a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot, but um, yeah, know about me, I love, 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 love video games. Um, not so much like, I guess, the popular games. I, I'm kind of a weirdo like that. Like, I really like scary games, um, like horror games, I guess. Uh, Alan Wake, I've been playing that one for a while. Um, the Saw games were okay, they're kind of corny. Um, the graphics were pretty bad. Um, I guess it was more of a novelty off the movie. Um, Silent Hill, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ever game. It's ever, ever. I haven't played the new one, um, but The Homecoming is one of my favorite games ever. Um, and Condemned, and Condemned 2, they're also... I mean, I've been playing that one, Condemned 2, like, a lot lately. Um, I'm actually, but yeah, uh, I also like classic video games, and then Super Nintendo, Nintendo, I don't know, I like, you know, Super Mario Brothers, um, Bubble Bobble, Galaga, Galaga is my stuff, I was gonna say something bad, but I changed the word, tricked you, <laughs> um, <laughs> Galaga is one of my favorite games, um, Donkey Kong, for sure, Donkey Kong Country, Country, um, any of the Super Mario games, I don't know, I love classic video games, uh, a lot of them that you might not have heard of, Bubsy, the cat game, um, where you gotta fight the aliens, it's really weird, Earthworm Jim 2, um, I'm older, but Earthworm Jim 2 I'd probably still play, um, it's kind of an adult game, I guess, I don't know, I, I remember getting it when I was like maybe 6, and I've, I still have it on my Super Nintendo, which is cool, um, but now I've actually downloaded a bunch on my Wii. And I think my Super Nintendo is at my mom's house in my old closet. I don't know. Um, that's another thing. I love my parents. Um, my parents, I don't know what I'd do without them. So, yeah, just a shout out to my parents because I love them. Um, number 16. Y'all already know I love Hello Kitty, so I'm not even going to go into that. Um, when I read, I read horror novels. I'm trying to wrap this up quick. Sorry, guys. I know I've talked forever. Um, number 18. You might not know about me. You know I'm not girly. But um, I'm really into cars, into drifting, this, you know, the motorsport. Um, my husband was on a drift team, um, teamsolat.com, if you want to go check him out. His name is Cody. Um, yeah, I like drifting. I was actually at a drift event last, not this last weekend, but the weekend before. And I'm there fairly often if there's one in here in Houston. Uh, I just told y'all where I live. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if there's one here, uh, we normally go because a lot of his friends enter and things like that. Um, number 19, when I was younger, I was on the jump rope team, random, but yeah, I was kind of running out of things. Um, number 20, this is probably going to throw y'all off. Um, my favorite genres of music are hip-hop and rap, like hard rap. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, Houston is kind of known for their, like, local rappers, but they're pretty big. I don't know if y'all heard of Zero, Slim Thug, uh, Trey, um... Lil Flip was pretty big for a while. He's not so much anymore. Um, but yeah, I really like hip hop and rap. Um, not so much R&B, not so much on the radio. Um, mostly like the underground stuff. I love Iggy Azalea. Um, she's from Australia. She's a chick rapper. She's one of my favorite. I hate Cray Sean. I hate Lil Debbie. I hate Be Nasty. Just throw that out there. I hate them. But Iggy Azalea is one of my favorite girl rappers. Well, really the only one I like. Um, and I kind of like weird music. Um, I actually like a lot of metal. Like, there's different genres, I guess you'd say. But, um, yeah, like, I'm really into right now. I love Deftones, so I guess whatever genre that is. Um, Alexis on Fire, I really like them. Um, and just different. Oh, my God, Bubbles, I'm recording. Get off of there. She's being obnoxious. Um, but anyway, yeah, I like different genres of music, but mostly... I like um, different types of metal or rock or whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Bubbles, would you get off of there, please? Oh. oh my gosh. She's just looking at me. Um, anyway, but I really like hip hop and rap, so 
that wraps up my 20-ish things that you might know. So um, I will tag some ladies down in the description bar. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.